please welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102, preview save time, and we've got something brand spanking new for you, the Hitchhike Through Europe. This is Gary Johnson's save. Now, in all honesty, I wasn't expecting this. Um, he sent it He sent it to me and to Mark Whittaker for, um, he wants Mark Whittaker to look at the scouting concept of it. He asked if I wanted to do a video on it, so here we are. Uh, I literally had to just uh, message Gary about 10 minutes ago and say, I've had to send him for a request because he does it through Google Drive, and he sent it almost instantly. So here we are, the hitchhike through Europe. I don't know what to, I don't know who he is or anything. I don't know what, I actually thought it might be part of the Dusseldorf save, uh, but clearly it's not. Okay, so we're at the start of season five. Okay. Okay, so I'm just trying to get my head around it, so... I remember that guy. I remember that guy. Absolute great fucking defender he is. Sorry, it just caught my attention. Uh, Ricky Schumacher. So, do you know what? I look at players, right? Even on someone's save or even on um, an ongoing save of my own and I look at him and I think, fuck me, I remember that guy. Eddie Gustafsson. Eddie Gustafsson. Does that Danny Webber, isn't it? Did he, did he die, Danny Webber? Am I getting, or am I getting confused with that Davis, ex-Man United youngster? Uh, who else? Uh, Dunwell. I bet Dunwell scored some goals for you. Not as many as I thought. Jonas London. We like Jonas London. Uh, when did you get Jonas London? Let's have a look. 2.3. Uh, Lucas Neal. Lucas Neal. Look at that. What a versatile guy he is. Hayden Mullins. Okay. Um, what we'll do. Let's have a look at how Gary has done then. Assuming he's been Portsmouth the whole time. Uh, we'll do it this way then, shall we? See, looks like he has. No, he started as Rosenborg. Okay, this is interesting because so he's at Rosenborg for what I assume was two seasons. Now the interesting thing about Scandinavian, um, Scandinavian. I know this is the case with Sweden. I don't know about Norway. I'm guessing it's going to going to be the same. Yeah, it is. The season starts in April. That's why it said 2002, I'm guessing. So, um, well, back-to-back -back titles then. Uh, 02 and 03. No, I got that wrong. 02 to... So how does that work then? How does that work? If he took over in 04, when was the last... So if the season ends... Uh, so that would be the 05, wouldn't it? Am I reading that right? So he wasn't in charge of, um, yeah, he wasn't in charge in 04, was he? Am I getting that right? Okay, nevertheless, Rosenborg then. Uh, let's just have a look also then, how he did with Rosenborg in his two years. Um, we've got to look at Champions League, haven't we? Or UEFA Cup? Oh, he was in the UEFA Cup. I was in the UEFA Cup, for, uh, okay, fourth round. A bit weird how this works, isn't it? Norwegian Cup, season one first round. He won it in season two. Good stuff. Very, very impressive. Um, is that second season? I get confused here now. I'm guessing it's second season, semi-finals. I think you've got to be happy with set semi-final, ain't you? And I would imagine... It, you know, it's, a, it's a great challenge, actually. Rosenborg is absolutely phenomenal. Um, Familiarise yourself with some of these... Um, now, this is funny, really. This is really bizarre about this guy. Because I took a screenshot of this guy earlier on today, um, the guy whose name I can't pronounce, and I, I knew he was Bosnian, and I thought to myself, right, when I saw a screenshot, I thought, nah, fuck off, he isn't Norwegian, he's just Bosnian. And obviously, this confirms that, that he, he is Norwegian. Uh, he's a good player, actually, he's a very good player, but clearly wasn't jumping out the page for Gary. Uh, let's see if anybody else of interest... Pedersen, it's still going strong. A quick question for you then, guys. Morton Pedersen, he's still about today, I'm sure he is. I think on the update, he's there as a free transfer at the age of like 40, uh, 42, something like that. Confirm to me if that's the case. I see, yeah, uh, okay, so he sold him for six and a half million. Um, on 
two last season. So Kimi Kallstrom, great signing. And he's obviously tracking him to bring him to Portsmouth. We'll come to Portsmouth in a moment. Um, I, I, I fucking think he's brilliant, whoever he is. Lars Ivar Strand, absolutely brilliant. And you can see he was a big part of Rosenborg. So a phenomenal, a phenomenal run, really, I think it's fair to say. Let's have a look where he's at then. So this is the start of the new season, is it? So let's see where, when did he take over? When did he take over Portsmouth? Let's just get a rough idea. So he took over on the 29th of the 4th. So, okay, so 29th of the 4th, he took over uh, last season. So he's had a, he's had a full season then. Let's have a look where he finished. Oh, oh, he was in the first division. Oh, I see. He took over in the first division and won the title. Good stuff. So, okay, I get that. Did it quite impressively, it'd be fair to say. Let's have a look at signings last season then when he took over. He took over on the 4th, didn't he, we said. April, was it? Um, let's just clarify when he took over. Again. So he took over on the 29th of April, 04. So let's just uh, double check. 29th of April, 04. Okay, so these are his signings then. So Lima, yeah, not bad. Marazina, Neil Wood. Hmm. Ah, Marcus Rosenberg, yeah, I remember that guy. Fucking hell. Uh, oh, we brought Jonas London over. Brought Jonas London, so, hang on a minute. Sorry, I got a bit confused here. I thought he got London at, um, at Rosenberg. Okay, no worries. Uh, let's just see who else he's brought. Thomas Heed. I think I remember Thomas Heed. Um, Cornelison. Yeah, not bad. He's gone very... Oh, he's gone very Scandinavian. Now, Gary, was there something implemented for Norway? Was it a Scandinavian challenge or, or what? What was it? A uh, good player there, Kalu. That Kalu, let me just have a check. Is he the guy that went to um, Chelsea in real life? Is that the same guy? Um, Michael Dunwell. Eddie Gustafsson. We like Eddie Gustafsson, don't we? Uh, Danny Webber, we said. Okay, so let's have a look at his tactics. Okay. Um, I, I mean, this is a very uh, a base tactic of what a lot of people tend to use here and there. Um, I'm not going to call it iodine because I think... You hear the word iodine and you instantly think iodine cheat, wibwob. That is not a wibwob. Uh, that is just a, a nano setup. Uh, it's the same concept of iodine in terms of 41221, but it is not iodine. Um, no, I don't mean to do that. Okay. Let's have a look at his previous tactics. So, 343 Alonso, 4132 Thunder, hell yeah, 433 Gary. Got no way of being able to get to them. Um, now, I'll explain something, right? I, I did this on somebody else, right? And I wanted to show you on Gary's. Is I go to tactics. Now, I can't get to these tactics because this is from their save. But I can see the previous tactics that have been used. Now, let's hypothetically say that said iodine CF. That's an, I would know that Gary had previously played it. I forget who I tested it with specifically. It might have been Ross Horn, actually. Uh, that I look for this because you can see previous tactics. Now, these three tactics, I don't know what they are. I think I remember seeing Hell Yeah, actually. I'm pretty sure. Uh, don't remember the Thunder one whatsoever. But uh, let's just have a quick look at his um, setup. Okay. Direct from, yep. Yeah. I mean, I quite like this. Um, I quite like this. 41221. This is what Matt plays in our 433 in our 433 in our three man game. I think the only difference Matt has he he has uh, he has that, I think. Additionally, I think something like that. So yeah, it's a good setup. Um I might assume you've been on that formation all the way, Gary. Um I don't know. You'll have to let us know on the comments. But yeah, let's have a look. Is money at Portsmouth then secure? Bit of money. Uh, future transfers then. He's got offers in. John Eustace. Um, has he got a... Oh, 
he's on loan. Good player, very good player. It's a good pick, that is. I'm guessing he might have Scotland, though. We'll have a look at his, uh, his league's open in a minute. Uh, Stefan Schumacher. A um, little bit questionable, personally, given um, his history for Everton. Uh, Jamie Victory. Jamie fucking Victory. Look at that. Always looks a fucking beast. And he's done really well for Boston. Definitely worth a punt. Paul Reed, defender, isn't he? Yeah, Paul Reed. I remember this guy. Look at that last season. Yeah, makes sense. And of course, Tonton Zola Makuku. What a player from Derby County. If he can get a deal over the line there, hopefully he will. Gary, this is great stuff. It's something really unique. And I love the title of it because that would indicate to me that you're not going to be staying in any one place um, for the long haul. Uh, let's have a look at your selected leagues, Gary. Um, by background of Argentina and Brazil, England, Germany, Holland, Italy, Norway, Scotland, Spain. Um, bit surprised you didn't have France, if I'm truly honest with you. Uh, France especially I'm surprised at, and Belgium as well. But nevertheless, good, good, um, good selection of, of teams, and I like the, the idea of having backup uh, background running of Brazil and Argentina. It just puts a few more players into the database. I think that's really important. Um, so yeah, good stuff, Gary. Uh, let's just also just check how you got on in the cup last season. Fourth round in the FA Cup last season, League Cup fourth round. Okay. So my next question, Gary, then is your objective. For this season, what would be your objective? Uh, top six, maybe? Top six? Who knows? Let me know. And that's it from me, guys. Till next time, take it easy.